Hey guys, welcome to Blue Dyer Tavern. Um, if you haven't joined us before, we are a Southern Maryland distillery, uh, four years in operation, making some phenomenal craft spirits. Now, uh, my name is Dan Marlowe. Uh, some of you know me as Fractions of Zero, and I'm here with Modern Bar Cart today. And, well, we're gonna make a couple drinks, we're gonna chat about them, and uh, then we're gonna drink them. So, um, we went with one of my particular favorites today. Um, if anybody's familiar with a uh, Missing Link cocktail, um, something called the Martinez. Uh, now we all know what a martini is, we all know what a Manhattan is. Now everybody's got their own builds, everyone's got their own preferences, um, but essentially we're going to do dry gin, dry vermouth, maybe some bitters for our martinis, a um, little more modern take, maybe throw it in with vodka, but I won't get in the middle of that argument. Um, Manhattan's got rye, bourbon, um, sweet vermouth, and then again we're going to use some bitters. This is the Missing Link Cocktail, and anyone who's a Darwin fan can appreciate this. Um, somewhere in the evolution of those drinks, this guy came along and then got lost again. Um, if you take gin and you throw it in a barrel for too long, it'll pick up color, it'll age, and that can be done intentionally. It, a lot of times, would happen by accident, um, but that's a whole other history lesson. So for our purposes today, this is a whiskey barrel rested gin and uh, it's a traditional dry style gin that's not too botanically forward, nor is it too juniper heavy, uh, and then thrown into charred Kentucky oak barrels. It's now picking up corn, rye, malted barley, a um, little bit of uh, charred cherry wood too, which is unique to blue dye or whiskey. Um, but our build today is going to be barrel rested gin, maraschino liqueur, sweet vermouth, and orange bitters. So uh, the one thing that makes it really stand out is the maraschino liqueur, um, but otherwise it's a blend. It's gin with whiskey elements, with barrel rested or aged spirit elements. And then instead of dry vermouth, we're using a sweet vermouth uh, to balance that. And then we are absolutely gonna include some orange bitters, um, but the maraschino liqueur, that's kind of the standalone. Um, that's the one that makes it a little bit more unique. And the reason for that, quite simply, is that maraschino liqueur is phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't know how it ended up in the drink, but if you think about like a uh, Papa, Papa Doble, um, Hemingway daiquiri, uh, if you think about an aviation or a last word, some of these really classic cocktails, they all call for Luxardo maraschino liqueur which is uh, a really cool infused liqueur. Um, I'm sorry, distilled infusion uh, liqueur. So basically it means it all happens during distillation instead of afterwards, which is how we get a lot of our liqueurs. Now you notice mine is red. Um, I haven't gotten the chance to clarify this yet, but this is a house batch blue dyer maraschino liqueur um, based on the flavor profiles of Luxardo. We tried to get it as close as we could um, out of respect and homage to them, but because of the program that we're running here, uh, we can only serve spirits that we make. Um, now, there's pros and cons to that. Uh, the pro is that uh, we get to turn our spirits into anything we need them to be. So uh, I needed a Campari, I needed uh, an Absinthe, um, and as far as uh, all of our other spirits go, um, it's a proofing ground too. But the downside is I can't use anything made outside of our distillery. I can't use anything, um, you know, that we're all typically used to in modern bars, um, like Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. So when put in a pinch, uh, we made our own. Now for this drink today, um, we are going to switch up the ratios a little bit. And the reason for that is traditionally this drink is gonna be about two to two and a half ounces of barrel rested gin. Remember, we're building this as a martini build, so it's gonna to want to build to about three ounces, maybe a little bit more, but certainly not less. Um, in today's case, what I did for you is I did an ounce and a half topped with another half ounce uh, that brought us to two ounces. I did that just to mess with Eric because he wanted me to get measurements and uh, I knew we were gonna throw you off when we came to the vermouth regardless. So when it comes to the vermouth, we're probably going to do half an ounce in a traditional uh, Martinez, and we're gonna do a quarter ounce of the maraschino liqueur. Um, but because our house batch vermouth is a little heavy in anise, uh, I'm actually only going to do a quarter ounce of it, and that's something that I've learned through trial and error here in the tavern. Um, and that maraschino liqueur that we just poured a minute ago, uh, that was also at a quarter of an ounce because I was happy keeping that at those same ratios. Now, uh, what I have here are some smoked 
blood orange bitters. So this is going to be uh, a little bit non-traditional in terms of orange bitters directly because we're going to pick up a little bit of uh, pecan and hickory wood smoke that has been infused into the orange bitters and the orange uh, itself was actually blood orange which is a little bit more robust, a little more zesty and uh, well realistically just has a little bit more personality. Um, so let's go ahead and mix up our drink. Now you'll see Martinez with different colors depending on where you go and what spirits they're uh, building them on. Certain barrel gins are going to be a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit more red in hue, a little bit more yellow in hue. Uh, of course your vermouth is going to play a huge part. Um, we're going to go for a good long stir, stir on this one so we get it nice and chilled. Um, we're using one by one cubes that will not dilute too much. Uh, so fortunately it'll be a good chilled drink that won't be watered down. Um, this garnish is traditionally a maraschino cherry. Now when I say maraschino cherry, I mean a real maraschino cherry. Um, unfortunately, it's developed a bit of a bad name, uh, being a bright neon red uh, dive bar cherry, but maraschino is a lot like Kleenex, guys. Um, you know, there's the brand and then there's the product and we don't wanna mix the two up. Tissues are great. Actually, Kleenex aren't bad either, but in the case of maraschino, um, the modern style we're used to is a bit of a um, degradation to the original maraschino uh, cherry. And so while I don't have maraschino cherries today, uh, what we do actually have are house batch cherries. Now every bar has the option of batching their own cherries. And some do, some don't. Um, in our case, we decided we, we wanted to go with the style of our spirits, the style of our cocktails, which is made by us and made with our uh, tastes in mind. So um, my cherries are ugly rum cherries and there's nothing wrong with an ugly rum cherry as long as it tastes good, but they are god awfully ugly. And the reason for that is we take frozen cherries, they are pitted and they are tart, but I thaw them out and we make a syrup. We make a syrup with cherry, hibiscus, uh, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla, and then that syrup we actually reduce. And when we reduce that syrup, uh, we get as much of the water out as possible. And then what we do is we reconstitute with dark rum made here by Blue Dyer, and we soak those cherries for three weeks and bring them out, and we serve them in our cocktails. Uh, so this is a unique flavor profile on a Martinez um, because it has some absolutely butt ugly cherries that actually have some really phenomenal dark rum flavors going on. Um, and then we have a slightly anise heavy uh, sweet vermouth, but it's going to balance really well with the smoked blood orange bitters and a whiskey barrel gin. Um, this cocktail, when it comes to gin, is my favorite cocktail. Um, it took me a long time to get used to gin or to acquire a taste for it, and I am absolutely a botanically for gin uh, preferential person, but um, that was before I learned about barrel gins, and now I don't really mind whether the gin is botanically forward or a little heavier in the juniper, a little stronger in the cardamom or coriander. Uh, if it's gone in a barrel, it's probably gonna be to my flavor profile. Um, I like smoky terra, a um, little bit of uh, wood and, and um, sand and dirt, a little bit of you know maple. Um, so this is a very light drink for my overall profile, but when it comes to gin, this is my gin drink. Um, so if you've never heard of the Martinez, go ahead, look it up. There's a couple different builds online. Um, if you get a really good vermouth, uh, like uh, Antica or Lustau, um, and then you get some Luxardo, uh, you can be crazy like me and do an equal parts build, um, which I thought was a great homage to uh, some of the traditional uh, Prohibition era cocktails that build on an equal parts concept. Um, I had some friends in the Instagram community who gave me a hard time about it, but the drink for me, with a good vermouth, uh, came out phenomenally. I did exactly um, uh, one and a quarter ounce of uh, barrel rusted gin, one and a quarter ounce of maraschino liqueur, and one and a quarter ounce of uh, Antigua formula. Um, and then I built it again at a one, 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 and I used Lustau. Um, and trust me, you're probably thinking it right now, 
just can't use that much maraschino liqueur in a drink. Well, I did, um, and it was delicious. Uh, we didn't do that today, but food for thought. Go out and try new things. Um, and if you need a barrel rested gin to do it with, uh, Blue Dyer Distilling Company is uh, in Maryland, DC, and Delaware. So uh, you shouldn't have a problem finding them at, shoot, we're in total wine. I mean, uh, you, 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 can do, you can do harder, so. Um, can we drink this now? Your turn, Eric. Let's see how these ugly rum cherries taste. Mm. This, oh, is, yeah. this isn't supposed to have something on the screen. No, you find her? No, no, it's recording. Okay. okay. This will be like our little post blooper roll. Mm. You really get the hibiscus in these things. Right.